All right, we'll take you to Costa Mesa right now. We are at Chargers Camp along with the Hall of Famer, LaDainian Tomlinson, Mike Am with you. And the face of the franchise, Justin Herbert is with us. Congratulations on the, de the new deal. Um, I, I know you've got to be thrilled about being now the guy and not having to worry about this contract, but I do think back to your path. I got to know you a little bit when you are mm -hmm. in Eugene at Oregon, 2016, freshman year. You weren't even starting quarterback. How do you reflect on this journey as you were signing that John Hancock on that new contract? Well, first off, thank you. Uh, you know, a huge thank you to the Chargers organization, the Spanos family, Tom Telesco, all these people that went into this decision. And I'm so thankful to be a part of it. And um, kind of like you mentioned, I, I think the most important thing for me is just to have fun, to enjoy football and, and realize that we're get, we get to play a game for a living. And, um, you know, our teammates, our, our coaching staff, uh, all those training members, um, you know, they're incredible people. And just being around them uh, is the time of my life. So I'm, I'm enjoying every bit of it. Is it a big relief getting that deal done? And if so, you know, kind of what was the first thing you actually thought about after you signed that deal? Because I know when I signed my deal, I know mm -hmm. it was the first thing I thought about. Um, no, it is a huge, you just can relax and play football now. You get to play free, you get to play fearless, and you get to go play the sport that you've grown up playing. And, um, you know, I think the first thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take care of the team, and uh, Khalil Mack especially, he's, he's been taking care of dinners for the past couple of years. <laughs> um, he's an incredible teammate, and uh, I owe him uh, a couple dinners, so I got to get go. on that. Something tells me he'll be able to pay up in a big way, which is always nice. Uh, take me out onto the football field. Just watching you. You look great today. The wide receivers look healthy as well, which is sort of awesome to see. LT and I were talking about this mini basketball team that you actually <laughs> have in terms of targets. What's it like to see these guys in training camp looking like they're ready for the start of the season? It's a lot of fun to be a part of. You know, th those guys are so athletic, so so tall, and, uh, you know, they've done such a great job of picking up the offense. And um, even Q, for, you know, as new as he is, he's, he's got a great feel for the offense. And so when you get that going and you get, you know, 6'8", 6'3", 6'4", 6'3", it's got to be tough out there. And we're kind of putting, um, you know, pressure on our defense, and they're doing a great job of making us better. So uh, lots to look forward to. Speaking of picking up the offense, Kellen Moore is here for the first year, first year as you know, offensive coordinator. Are there any similarities between this offense and the old offense? Is there anything you can draw from what you have done in the past and apply to this offense? Mm -hmm. I think uh, a lot of the protections are similar. Uh, you know, we've done a pretty good job of um, getting a, a protection plan with our offensive line going and our running backs and making sure that everyone's dialed in together because that's a huge part of the offense. And um, if we have the same or similar verbiage and lingo and, and we're able to kind of carry that over from year to year, um, you know, I think this is a really veteran offensive line group um, and they've done a great job picking up stuff so far. So we're communicating well. And as long as we're doing that, I think we'll be able to play some pretty good football. You know, Justin, I was here last year, and I know the expectations were, were pretty high for this football team, and rightfully so. But then I think about Slater up front. He gets gets hurt. Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, guys missing games. J.C. Jackson out. Oh, Joey Bosa not healthy. Are we sleeping on what this team is actually capable of doing, considering you did get 10 wins a season ago with all of those injuries? I think that's the tough part about the NFL is you're going to have to deal with uh, injuries and, and adversity like that. And I thought we did a great job overcoming it as best as we could last year. Didn't go our way, unfortunately. Um, and I know, you know, that's a driving force this offseason for a lot of guys. We, we showed up. We put in all the, our work, uh, made sure that we're doing everything we can to avoid that feeling again. Um, so I'm just excited to get all those guys back out there healthy, to, to see Keen and to see Joey, to see Rashawn. Um, you know, it's a great when they're on the field. Do you think this team learned anything from last year's experience? Because I know each year should teach you something. And I feel like you guys are right there at the cusp of, you know, doing something really special. And maybe last year taught you something about this team. I think we did big time. Uh, you know, we dealt with our fair share of adversity last year. Injuries, uh, close losses, um, things like that. You know, it's part of the NFL. If you, you play long enough, uh, things like that are going to unfortunately happen. Um, and so it's all about how you re respond and how you react. And I think this team has done a great job of answering that. Uh, this offseason, this camp, um, I'm really looking forward to it. All right. If you thought practice was hard, I know the next thing that you have on task is even more difficult. There's a few thousand fans that are <laughs> screaming for you to go sign some autographs. So appreciate you giving us a couple minutes here. Stay healthy this upcoming season. You bet. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Justin.